Hey everyone, Lensmanos here and this is FTB Beyond, episode 25. How is everyone doing today? I'm going to do a little bit more work on Britannia today. Um, I want to light this area up though because there's just not enough things around here. So there's a, there's a few things I want to try and get done. Uh, I'm a little tired of coming back up into the house here so let's just, just quickly... I have a placer. That's some torch placer thing somewhere. Might be in the chest of junk downstairs because I had that overflow where the system was full. I had a thing. I'm a little annoyed actually. I just had an embers thing attack me, and I killed it with a um, with a pick, but I didn't get the item I was expecting. What is that torch placer thing called? There was a um, I forget what it was called, there was a thing that allowed me to, to place all the torches, I had it in the floor here for a bit. I just can't remember what it was called, maybe it's oh, down the bottom here somewhere. Oh, I just forget what it was called. Ah, that one, the terrain lighter. Or the torch. I'm going to need a bunch of torches. So, torch? Okay, let's just make some. That's an interesting uh, thing. Grab a couple of stacks of that and then we'll grab some, um, I think just some coal. Alright, so one of the things I want to get into, geez I love having flight, it's fantastic. One of the things I want to get into is being able to access my stuff from over here. I right. uh, might need to bury that. Let's bury it down one. If I give you torches and a little bit of fuel, do I need to give you a redstone signal? Correct. Typ and, and typically, as it is, I have nothing to make a redstone signal with. Well, I suppose I could have used a button. Trouble anyone? Wait, wait, get through the door. Let's grab some of that. Uh, let's see. So, a few things need to happen. Um, one is light this area up. Why would I do that? Sheesh! Let's grab a couple of them. Right. One is lighting the area up, and we'll do that just with this. You go to my friend. Might need some more of them. It's a pretty cool little device. Got to admit. Do I just run out of torches? Maybe. I hope you're not just like putting them into lava and hoping for the best there. Wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Anyway, that's fine. Things are a little bit more lit up. Okay, so I'm tired of coming up here to get my stuff. So what I want to make is a wireless crafting grid. Um, so this should enable me to uh, to make stuff while I'm down there. So let's make a wireless grid. So we're going to need at least two grids, I think. Two grids. We're going to need an advanced processor and an ender pearl. So did I teach you how to make a grid? Yes, I did. I want to. Thanks. Go. Um, I'm going to want an advanced processor. On another one. Just using that for the uh, thing for this. Okay, so it's making some sand or making some silicon, I think, at the moment. I know it was obviously making sand to make silicon. Yeesh. Things are fairly quick. We're going to require the two grids 
an ender pearl and some quartz enriched and another advanced process so I'm hoping it'll use the advanced processor soon so let's make that we're going to need a couple more of them one of them and then that Awesome, and it's charged because of my wireless charger downstairs. So I should be able to, I might have to link it. Uh, oh, no wireless transmitter. So oh, okay, I still need the wireless transmitter. Okay, cool. Wireless transmitter. Okay. So I'm going to need a machine frame and another processor. That's fine. And we're going to need some cable. Oh, 30, that'll do. Come on, make the processor. Cool. One processor. So let's see where our cable runs. What have I got? Hmm. Because I want to get it out here. I'm not sure what its range is. I don't know if this has range upgrades or what. Alright, do I have a cable downstairs? Let's go downstairs first. What do I have running across? I've got cables over here. So I guess I could run... I should have one behind here too. Alright, so we've got a cable here. So I could kind of... Let's dig up here. I'm not sure if that'll be enough. So let's put that there for the moment. Worst case, I dig underground and I, I put it further out. Not sure on its range. Can you really? Well, that's not far enough. Uh, there is upgrades to this, I believe. Um, at refined stack upgrade range upgrade. Oh, we're going to need more ender pearls. I've got one left. I killed a couple of endermen last night. So let's make one range upgrade, and hopefully we'll go a few more blocks. Or I could run the cables out a little bit further, but it would be nice to be able to not have to do that. Range upgrade requires an upgrade redstone and ender pearls. So an upgrade. Start redstone. Got a fair bit of that. Are you done yet? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> Come on! Chop chop! Here we go. Now we'll need to head downstairs. So we'll need to find some more, or get some more enderpearls tonight when it's dark, I guess. Got it. So this should give us, I think it said another 18 blocks, 16 blocks, sorry. So if we open you up and put this in, it gave us another 8. Can I get to here? Yeah, that's alright. So close, so close. But that's fine, cause, and we can craft. That's the other beautiful thing about this, is we can craft. Alright, now I said last episode, and I, uh, as I was about to say, uh, sorry, uh, once I get some more ender pearls, I'll make another two, I think, of them. Um, and then we'll cover it up. Ender pearls aren't growing that fast. Anyway, uh, need to eat. Food is in the yellow bag. There we go. Uh, I've got a lot, bunch of stuff in here. I want to try a little bit of automation in terms of living wood and living rock. Now these two little flowers here, they're great, but um, I want to make them floating. 
I make floating flowers. I kind of probably need to sleep through the night too. Sleeping bag. It's a hit. So what we're going to do is I want to make a float. Let's light write the right thing in. Britannia. Um. So there is a way to make floating flowers. Where is that? Here. So it requires dirt, pasture seed, and a glimmering flower. Glimmering flower is two glowstone and a flower. Let's sleep. Alright, so we should have... Should be putting stuff away. Uh, I love it. I love being able to just get rid of stuff that I don't need straight into the system. Uh, we're going to need some glow dust. Glow, glow dust. Glowstone dust. Uh, do I need grass? Oh, I do. Excellent. So I need them to make some pasture seeds. Um, I had some blocks of coal here. Let's get a little bit more a little bit more mana going. And we will work on the, the lava lava mana production. Nice. Okay, so I okay, keep saying okay so and I really do apologize for that. Right. Let's make two and I know I can use the other table, but let's make two glimmering white flowers. And Two of these should give us floating ones, and I should. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't tried it in 110, but we should get floating pure daisy. Excellent. The reason I want these floating is because I want to try and, and I know I've automated a lot with XNet, but I want to try and automate this with XNet. I just find it so so useful and so um, so easy to set up. So what I want to do, well, there's a few, there's a couple of things. So first of all, I mean, do I want to do it here or up here? Um, now let's do it back here. So let's start by putting the places where we're going to have our two pure daisies set up, which is like this. Uh, and what I want to put in between, and, and, and again, the reason for the, um, the floating version is that I want to put, I'm trying to do this as efficiently as possible, I want to put a connector like that, and then I want to put auto places. Uh, this isn't going to work, I can only do four, can't I? Yeah, it's not quite going to be how I want to do it. I mean, like, yeah, I might. I was trying to get away with this without having to do too many connectors, but um, this is only going to do the four corners. So, I mean, let's just start with the four corners for now, and I'll, I'll upgrade later because I don't. It doesn't need to be super OP or anything. So let's just get rid of these. All right, and I want to put a floating pure daisy here. All right. Now I'm not sure if this will actually. Can I do an advanced breaker? Long range breaker. Phantom Breaker. This may not work either. So, Auto Breaker. Hmm. Uh, what do I need? I need this in Pulse Mode. So, I need a Redstone Torch.
Okay, let's try something. Let's break you. Um, what I want to do No, I want you to actually be the other way around. That's fine. We can get a wrench onto them. I would have actually thought I would have had it in here. There it is. Oh, really? Can I not wrench them? Well, that's unfortunate. Maybe not with that wrench. Get a wrench. Oh, wow. Unless actually Editions has its own wrench. Let's have a look. I think it does, it does. No, it's a laser wrench. I don't remember if it has its own wrench. So what I need it to do is be like this auto breaker. That's what I want. No, not you. I need to be down in these holes. So the idea being is we're not going to want this to fire until a particular moment. Okay, so these all need to be on pulse mode, I think. And then we're going to need another connector in the middle. And I think what I'll do is I'll just ignore this one for the moment. Let's just move it out of the way. But I'll replicate whatever I do on this side for this one. Just for the moment. Okay. So the idea being is we will run ugly cable up through the middle here. No, that's too high. Okay. And it will go down. We'll put our I'm just going to do this now while I've, while I've got the hole in the ground. Okay, that cable coming this way. Okie dokie. Uh, wireless thingy. And controller. Like sure. Now the idea being, what we want to do. I think I'm going to have to do some detectors. So herein lies the drama. Or maybe there's a way we can do a timer. All right. Give me a second, because I haven't tested this in in any sort of way. I've, I've just sort of had the idea that this is what I want to try. Uh, but I mean at the moment if I put wood here, it's just going to break it straight away. Well, it's, well, it will break it once it gets a pulse. So if we if we pulse this, it will break and that's that's what we want to try and do. So, right, so it's broken. But what we want to do is wait until it becomes living wood before it breaks. So now we've got downstairs we're doing that um, for the fluids, so we should be able to do it up here. I've just got to work out the best method to do it. So give me one second, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've um, spent a bit of time mucking around with this, and I think I'm at a point where I can uh, get done what I need to get done. I don't quite have enough spider eyes, um, but I'll describe what I've done so far, and then um, show you how it works. 
but pretty much what we've got is we've got the places underneath and I'm I'm considering actually sacrificing this front one here just so you can see the process as it happens I mean that would mean we'll have an odd number of um, of items in there but um, we're gonna make it so that probably it runs off a redstone signal from the draw maybe um, but yeah we'll work it out we'll work out what we're gonna do I may even limit on um, it won't run the bottom if the tops full but anyway uh, so what we've got here is we've got a, an iron chest which is our input we have our storage drawers here which is our output so the idea is we can put wood in here or stone in here and it will process it and push it out to here now the logic's very simple it's it's just extract from the iron chest um, either at, in this case dark oak or um, stone extract from there and insert into these four these are the only four I'd set up so far you can see I just placed those other ones down but I've got um, two stone and two wood set up so if you look here we've got this one here will only insert stone this one here will only insert stone and these two are set, are set to wood and the reason for that is uh, because these can only be set to a particular uh, item so this one's currently if if it sees living wood in front of it, it will turn the redstone signal on. It will say redstone output of 15. Um, but if anything else is in front of it, air, a block, like wood or stone is in front of it, it won't turn the signal on. So once it gets changed, it turns its signal on and it outputs through this redstone conduit up here. And I've separated it so they're all um, their own things. I probably could sit here and change this color so like you know so this one's green and and this one's brown just in case it ever somehow links up uh, and they won't activate each other but pretty much it receives a signal from the scanner saying yes the item is in front of it let's push the redstone signal i did start trying to work out how to do it with the xnet setup but I, I it started to get a bit complicated and i had cables going everywhere and then i realized no hang on this is just putting out a signal i just need the signal to get from here to here this is a good option uh, nice and neat and tidy and we'll just have like I'm not going to put one here because we don't need another one here so this will just be filled in but we'll have um, just like conduits here and then we connect whoop, connect them on this side and then we separate them in the middle so it will only ever output to the block that it's immediately in you know in that it's looking at pretty much so it's the one that's in its piece um, but that's that's the basics and then this once it gets its signal will break the block and then this signal here and the second channel will extract from the breaker and insert into the draw straightforward if I put uh, or one other thing that's in here uh, so this here will only insert if there's less than one in the inventory I don't want it to fill up full of wood when I first started putting it in it was just putting it all into one um, one placer uh, and I don't want that I don't, I don't want that at all I just want them to place just one uh, so if I put let's just go four of each one two three four one two three four if I put these in it will pull them out of there and it will place them in the system the one behind there it goes so you can see it's placed in and because these aren't seeing living wood there's no red redstone output so we can stand here and watch the middle one will go first um, and this one will actually go last but you'll see the redstone turn on because it takes about a minute um, pretty much almost a minute I think it is maybe a minute correct me if I'm wrong so but this take this process takes a minute um, once it changes, if you you might hear it unless I'm talking, um, you'll hear it change. The redstone will go on, the block breaker will break it. It'll go out the front. There's currently six of each in the drawers at the front, um, so this will show going to what ten of each. There goes a redstone. There goes another one on the left. And in front 
So it changed to living wood, redstone signal went off, the breaker broke it, and then the placer underneath, which had the second of the, you know, so we had four of each. So it had the second piece, it placed it ready for another iteration. Uh, at the moment, the extraction is manual. What I will do, um, I'll, I potentially might put a connector on, on here. I don't want that one on there. Oh no, it's already got a connector on it. What am I doing? It's got one underneath. Uh, what I might do is I may be able to only extract if the draw is full, or only allow like so. I might do another. I might do a logic thing here to so create a logic channel, and pretty much if we can say that uh, item. Item, if we go living wood, if it is greater than, let's say 10, actually let's change this to less than or equal to 10, output on white, and item, oh I don't have any living rock, one please. Less than or equal to 10, not 100, 10. Uh, it'll output on red. So what we can do is I could potentially set up this to be two separate systems. So this will only pull wood out on red, on white, sorry, and only pull stone out on red. I, I could do that. Um, but I, I can't do the de I can't do two detectors. So either way, they're always going to put into the same thing. But what I would like to have is that if if um, white or red is on, um, this is at the moment this is saying white and red, so that's not exactly great. But um, what do we got in here? We got nine and ten, so it needs both on to run. So if I put I put uh, so it's going to run anyway, right? Let's just put a couple in. What I'm hoping... Oh, I haven't... No, no, this should work. Enable on white and red. So at the moment, it's actually... It, it'll it'll output... It'll work on either. So if either is less than... Um, less than 10, it'll work. Let's put a few more in here. It shouldn't extract because there's there should be one in front of each thing and then one underneath one in the actual placer ready to place. So if I go and look at this placer, there's one in there. Um, so you're always going to get that extra one at the end of your at the end of your process. But we've got four in here and what should happen is once this one hits ten, so at the moment we should be outputting a red Less than or equal to 10, it'll output. So it should do one more iteration because it's now less, it's now 10. Yeah, we've got 9 in one and 12 in the other. 10. So the next one should actually disable it. Still got 4 in here. Okay. So this is now above 10, so it's not actually removing them from here, which is cool. So we can set this up to a specific limit. This is empty. It's definitely got room to put one in. But because the redstone signal is being output, saying that there is uh, either less than or equal to, it's turning, it's turning the color on or off. So I'm probably going to separate this into two separate um, extraction things once I finish doing all the programming because I'll, I'll do the rest off camera. Um, so four and four. So I'll set it up so that the the four stone and the four wood are on two separate channels, and it, it'll only work if. Um, so this one will say we're looking for ten. It pumps out white. Ten pumps out red, and then we'll just mimic this whole channel. 
again to do the extract on the white. I think that's the best way of doing it. Um, but with that, I think we're at the wrapping up point. So this is, it's ugly. I, I understand that. It's, it's, I'll make it a bit prettier. Maybe I'll cover some stuff up, uh, move a few things around. But um, this is my automated system for making living rock and living wood. Um, so hopefully you, 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 you like what I've done here and give me some, uh, give me some ideas if this is uh, something interesting. I know I use XNet a lot. It's just so powerful. Such a great little programming mod that, um, and it's so easy to use. You know, once once you wrap your head around how things work, everything's very very um, straightforward. But yep, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Please leave your comments in the section below. I'm gonna go find a couple of Endermen. Hopefully there'll be some around. I want a few more Ender pearls. I want to get a little bit more range on my wireless theme because obviously out here it's it's not working. Um, I want to get a little bit, a little bit. I don't know. I want, I want to max it out, and I'll put probably four in there so we can get a fair few blocks out. Because I did plan on putting the woot farms down here. So short of running uh, more cables all the way out and putting a wireless thing out here at the moment, the wireless is a good idea. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Comments below. Like button if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.